crackdown on graffiti in Detroit is apparently going just a little too far tonight. Inspectors have warned business owners they'll be ticketed for building murals that are part of the urban landscape. This caught a lot of people's attention today. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig, though, found out there's been a misunderstanding on what's allowed and what is against the law. I was outraged. I think it's ridiculous. That's how many reacted when the city of Detroit began handing out tickets for graffiti art and these colorful murals on buildings along a number of main roads. I was like, that's absolutely insane. City inspectors even paid some business owners a visit in the last couple of days, telling them to expect a ticket. He said that they were instructed to go down the main roads and any building that had graffiti or artwork on it to be ticketed. We've turned in this basically into, into an outdoor gallery. Derek Weaver has been working with over 100 local and international artists to bring some of these old buildings back to life with colorful murals, with permission, he says, from the various property owners. He owns some of the buildings himself and was shocked to get tickets for something many say has helped to revive areas. Since this project has started, vandalism in this neighborhood has diminished basically down to nothing. I was just over at Brooklyn Street to let them know that that ticket was a mistake. Mayor Mike Duggan telling Action News today that a number of tickets should not have been issued because the work was approved by the property owners. And that was good news for the owner of Brooklyn Street local, Devery Gifford, who plans to have this mural redone when building repairs are complete on her popular court town eatery. That's clearly done on purpose by people who care about what the building looks like. Because to so many, there's a big difference between vandalism and these public works of art approved by property owners. And it's always good because, you know, building owners and, and people get and business get to see, you know, this art form uh, in a beautiful perspective than more so than a vandalist perspective. Um, and I believe all my art pieces are artwork and not vandalism. But as long as the building owner is given permission for this wall art, I'm totally supportive. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Wow, glad we could clear that up.